Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Lufkin and today I'm going to be giving you my thoughts and impressions on the Back for Blood beta. Now I'm sure that most of you can think of at least one game that made you, and I'm using quotation marks around the word gamer, a gamer. For some of us there might be one or two. For me, it was Resident Evil 2. And I'm talking about the OG Resident Evil 2. Yeah, I'm old. I know it. So anyway, I became hooked on zombie games. And I can still remember the first time I saw anything about the original Left 4 Dead. I was watching uh, the channel G4 back when that was a thing again. Yeah, I'm old. I think the show was Attack of the Show, but I'm not sure now. You know, I can't remember what show it was, but I know it was the one with Olivia Munn. I mean, she's hard to forget. There was a segment on this new zombie game, Left 4 Dead, and I was so excited to get my hands on it. That was back in the Xbox 360 days for me. Anyway, as the time came for the release, my excitement builded and builded, and then my Xbox gave me the red ring of death. As it turns out, my Xbox came back from Microsoft the same day that my copy of Left 4 Dead came. After I got the kids in bed that, that night, I started slaying zombies, and the next thing I knew, the morning sun was coming through the window. While RE2, or Resident Evil 2, made me a gamer, it was Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2 that kept me playing. Like most Left 4 Dead fans, we kept hoping for Left 4 Dead 3, and as the years turned into years and then into a decade, we had to face the fact facts that Valve just could not count to three. And then comes the news of Back for Blood. And the OG gang putting a new zombie killing spree together and I couldn't have been more excited. It was like finding out that your all-time favorite band is getting back together and doing a show in your town and sent you a personal invite. So anyway, months of waiting and waiting and waiting, trying to get any scraps of news. Finally seeing them on the Game Awards and here we are at the beta. But is it any good? And to an old timer Left 4 Dead fan like myself, does it pass the test? Now, there's only one way to find out. So I had to jump in and see for myself. Now before we really get started, I want to touch on the negatives first so that I can get that out of the way. Now I know this is a beta, so I hope that the glitchiness of the characters is fixed before launch. But while playing you will see zombies just appear in front of you and you take damage. While shooting a few times, my aim just switched directions and I was shooting into nothing. A few times, a bot character stopped moving forward and you had to go get them. And the time that I had to do that, that was all the way back to the, the safe room we left. Other than that, I don't really have a whole lot of negative to say. Um, there's a few more things I'll touch on later and things I'd like to see at launch. But I'll have to admit... Um, when I first started trying to play, I got a little frustrated for waiting and waiting and waiting to get into a game. Remember, like so many diehard fans, myself, like so many diehard fans, we've been waiting for years for this. It was on the third day of the beta before I was finally able to get into a game. And to me, it was amazing right from the start. Sure, I miss Bill Smoker's cough, Francis complaining about how much he hates stuff, Ellis telling his dumb stories about his buddy Keith, and I even miss the crying of the witch. But I feel this game will have those same great moments, and I, I will feel, I feel like, I will feel the same way about these characters the more time I spend with them. To me, it does feel like what a Left 4 Dead 3 could have been. The gameplay is much like its older brother. The panic and excitement of hearing the characters call out a mutation name is there, just like any other game. The game is chaotic, is a chaotic rush of spring bullets and yelling and running zombies. It is everything I have been waiting for over the years. The maps to me are on the short side, but I feel this is made up for the fact that the act is playable through eight parts, at least the one that we have in the beta. I hope hope that some of the maps are longer, but you know, um, we'll just have to wait and see. The maps are beautifully creepy. It makes me feel like I'm playing or living in a zombie movie. There is one part on a rooftop in Act 1-1 you can hear screams and I'm not sure if it's zombie screaming or people screaming but you can hear it and I thought that was a great touch and added to the overall creepiness of the game. In Act 1-3 the crossing reminded me of crossing the bridge on Left 4 Dead 2. The graveyard and church in Act 1-5 was a great throwback to Left 4 Dead death toll. For us fanboys of the old games it was like coming home. There are a lot of guns with numerous attachments and the guns really sound great in this game. To me the shotgun sounds like a real shotgun. 
things that I hope we see in the final re final release. Well, I hope there are more melee weapons in the at launch. I want another chainsaw. Please, please, please give us a chainsaw. I hope we see more lore. I want to know more about these characters. I want to know about the world they live in. To really enjoy a game to me like this, you have to identify with the characters in the world. We have all just been through a pandemic. So give us some story of what these people have been through in their pandemic. I think we can all relate to how hard that can be. Tell us how they felt. Tell us how they met. I want backstory on all of them. Tell me what they've lost. Maybe even have locations in the maps that tells us more of the story without even having to have dialogue. Now, before we go any further, I want to add in that, <coughs> excuse me, I had already written most of the script, and then I played again, and I was playing his mom, and she did talk about how her son died, and I thought that was a great touch. That's just what I was asking for. Please, give us more. I would also like to see the game change, see a game changing special mutation. A well-placed tank in Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2 could mess your entire game up and took the whole team to kill. Back 4 Blood needs that kind of tense, oh crap moment, what are we going to do? And I haven't seen that kind of mutation yet. I think that the, uh, the Ogre tried to do that, but he really wasn't that scary and he was pretty easy to beat. I would also hope that there will be a road map with uh, future content uh, listed of what, what we can expect to come. Hopefully there will be more to come. This will be something that continues on. Um, another thing that I would like to see addressed before the game launches is a few sound issues. The special mutations in the game don't seem to have their own signature sound like the special infected in the Left 4 Dead games. You know when you heard the, you know when you heard the screech of a hunter, you were about to get pounced on, and that upped your fear. You knew the sound of the cough of a smoker and the gurgling belching of a boomer. As far as I can tell, there are only two zombie types that had these kind of sounds in Back for Blood, at least in the beta. One was the stinger, you know, the spitting thing that jumps onto walls, and the zombie that comes out of something on a wall. I would like to hear signature sounds from all of them. Playing the original games, it was great fun to hear a jockey laughing and call out to your team, Jockey! Or, you know, whatever zombie it was. I hope they can add these things. Now, one thing that really bums me out is that there won't be a campaign versus mode. I'm not sure why this was left out. You know, maybe they don't want to, you know, I mean, I've had friends, uh, they're twins, and they want to make sure that you know the difference in them and each other. Maybe that's kind of what this is. They don't want this to be too much left, like Left 4 Dead. But um, I think I'm going to miss that. I hope they decide at some point that they can bring that back and it comes in with an update. Um... I really can't wait to see what comes next. You know, I can't wait to see the other maps. I can't wait to see the other characters. Uh, I've had so much fun with the beta, and that's what games are all about fun. And I can't wait to come back for Back for Blood. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, let me know your opinion on the beta if you've played it. And if you haven't, you're going to have so much fun when you get your hands on this game. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Turtle Rock. And I will catch you guys next time.